Oh boy, a comedy sequel. Here we go. Bad Santa 2. Bad Santa 2 is the sequel to the original Bad Santa and it stars Billy Bob Thornton, Tony Cox, and now we have Kathy Bates and is this is this movie good? I'm gonna say this movie is funny in some parts, some parts were memorable funny, they were really laugh out loud funny, other parts were kind of forced. This movie is pretty much trying to repeat the magic that the first Bad Santa had, but it just can't do it. It pretty much is this original Bad Santa, just not as good. Comedy is of course objective, so whatever you think about the first Bad Santa, you're probably going to this movie and be like, hey, it's the same shit. I like this shit. I like this shit. For everybody else who just wants something a little bit more, you might want to look elsewhere. I may say, I look into the pros and cons, I believe that Bad Santa 2, it comes out this time for Thanksgiving. If you want to see this movie, then good luck. See what you know about it. First of all, the acting, movie. The acting has not changed at all. And Billy Bob Thornton is still our dick douchebag Santa Claus and we still love him for doing that. Still doesn't give a shit. He's still uh, pretty much Billy Bob Thornton as he was in the first Bad Santa. He was good, so him, awesome. And Tony Cox still, same dude you remember him from the last Bad Santa movie. So like I said, the acting between this movie and the last movie ain't changed at all. What you remember back then is what you're gonna get here. And now Kathy Bates is our newest character on this scene. She was raunchy Kathy Bates, but Oh god. Short story, everybody in this movie is pretty much an asshole or a pervert or this dude this dude was borderline retarded. But yeah, the kid from the last movie, he's now grown up and he's just an adult man child that has he's he's retarded. But I shouldn't say retarded, that's a bad word, but the give stupid. The plot of the movie, I swear to god, is identically the same as the last movie. You got Billy Bob Thornton and Tony Cocter working together again to do this job of sorts to get a big wad of money by the end of the movie. They end up, you know, turning on each other and shit. And at this time, pretty much swap out Bernie Mac's character with Kathy Bates' character and now you have this movie. The same exact plot from the last movie. It doesn't take any liberties. It plays real safe, so it's very familiar. You're gonna know what's gonna happen. You're gonna see all the twists and turns happening in the movie. That's the plot. Uh, the pros of the movie, like I said, some of the jokes to say the first half of the movie, the jokes were really good. They really raunchy, really flat. That was a lot of the racial slurs, a lot of dicks, fucks, cunts. You know. Like I said, all the vulgar shit that just worked so well in the first Bass Santa, because that was like, oh my god, a movie did that. That's crazy. And the Bass Santa 2, we know the first Bass Santa, that happened. There have been many movies that came out after that that tried to emulate that. And this movie just feels like another one of the movies that tried to emulate the magic that Bass Santa 1 had, but just can't do that. Again, comedy subjective, so you may like that shit, but like I said, everybody else is gonna be like, I've seen it done better. I've seen it done better in other movies, and I've seen it done better. I felt like the magic, this movie tried to capture the magic of the first Bad Santa, but just couldn't quite do that. Then it just came out as a sequel that just didn't really need to happen. Now, at the end of the day, I'm gonna cut this review really short. You know, Bad Santa 2 was a okay, enjoyable movie. It was funny in parts. Some parts were laugh out loud funny. I loved it. Other parts were pretty much just like, it's forced and it's just, okay, I, 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 I get it. Dicks, penis, assholes. Billy Bob Thornton was great in the movie. Tony Cox was also good in the movie. Kathy Bates was a new addition to the movie. Seeing her side of this raunchiness is entertaining. So with that being said, I'm going to say that Bad Santa 2 is indeed a 5 out of 10, which is a good time one time only. Bad Santa 2, it comes out in theaters this Friday. You're going to go see the movie with anybody who's trying to know what to talk about. Bad Santa comes out Thanksgiving, so yeah, be thankful if you watch this movie. And as always, guys, subscribe. Until next time. Here they come.